about, I will tell you a story about food waste recovering based on brewing. And uh, yes, let's start about it. Let's start. So we, we all know that uh, brewing is based on uh, mashing and uh, boiling with the hops and then fermenting with the yeast. But fewer people know and care about what happens after the brewing and what happens after with the ingredients. Of course, okay. So for brewing, we use the hops, we use the barley, and we use the yeast, and of course the water. And these also represent the main waste streams of the brewing process. Um, the spent barley is actually the, this called spent grains, and it's what remains after uh, we mash the... And uh, it is a very important and nutritious pr uh, product because it contains a lot of proteins, and it's very tasty and good. And also we have the... Um, the hops left over, which is called the trub. This is actually a super product because it contains up, up to 70% of protein, but its downside is the fact that it's very, very bitter. So then we have the yeast left over. It doesn't, it doesn't ver it's not very appealing, but it's also a very nutritious product containing up to 50% of proteins. And um, it's very, very rich also in vitamin B12. So we can do something with it. We can reuse it somehow. Of course, uh, now it's kind of like reused into bakery products. And there is this Vegemite made out of yeast, but it's not a very good product. It's kind of weird, so not too many people are into it. So this, that's why we thought, how can our waste build capital instead of reducing it? So we can do this by shifting from a linear economy to kind of like a circular way of production. And um, we can do this by looking into these waste streams and research it and see how can we reuse, reuse it into food products. Um, so I thought about creating a product that can reuse all these waste streams and be valuable for the people who use it. And of course, we have a patent machine that helps us process these waste streams from brewing process. And um, we managed to turn the waste streams into liquid and uh, uh, solid forms and then it's easier to process and of course it's more energy efficient. So I ended up creating a malt spread. Uh, it's based on malt, on yeast and hops and it's a very nutritious product. It has a very high content of proteins and fibers and it's very natural. It's, it can be used in so many ways, this product. That's why I did it as a spread form, because you can eat it in sandwiches, you can eat it in salads, in steaks, and so many other ways. And of course, um, we started, we created a, a company called Science Brew Food Hub, where our goal is try to reuse all the waste streams and kind of create a circular uh, economy with it. And, um, we kind of kept developing and we developed this kind of biscuits based on tortilla chips and we call it beer chills. And they represent kind of like a snack health alternative for the people because they are also very tasty. And um, this pack of products that we have done can be uh, used and eaten by all kinds of people from kids to elder people, from beer lovers. It can be used by restaurant chefs to create all kinds of new recipes with And of course, it's okay for vegans. So together with Science Brew and Science Brew Food Hub, we managed to succeed in creating a zero waste beer and uh, sell a circular pack of foods from beverages to food that you can snack on while drinking the beer. But we are thinking to go into other industries and reuse the waste streams from other food sectors like eggshells and uh, uh, the grape seeds and who knows. And also we may go into the beauty industry and create face creams or create uh, shampoos uh, based on hops because they have a very high content of antioxidants and can um, regenerate the cells and the hair and everything. But I will stop talking now because I'm also very nervous and I would like to invite you to taste our product uh, and give us your opinion about it. And also while doing that, you can please check us on the social media, on Facebook and Instagram and write your critiques over there because that will be quite useful for us to have. So uh, besides that, I would like to thank you and let's keep it circular and have a zero waste beer.